the inside of me. I will not be held down by my circumstances. I will not be held down by this situation. I will not be held down by the value of the naira to the dollar. I will. <laughs> sometimes the water will be stirred, but sometimes if there's nobody to stir the water, I will stir my own water. Jesus said, he who believes in me, the water is not coming from outside of him. He said, out of his belly, it will flow. So once in a while, I engage the gear of joy. I rejoice. Woo! Sit down, sit down, sit down. So, it's a culture that God commands of us that when we face a battle, we don't whimper, we begin to give a shout. When we release our ruha, what happens is this, that the power of God is released. That is a conduit for the power of God. That is a pathway for the invasion of the grace of God into the circumstance and situation. The thing is this, the Bible says that in the beginning, when God made the heavens and the earth, the earth became without form and was void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. But it didn't end there. It said, and the spirit of the Lord hovered upon the face of the waters. What was he looking for? He was looking for an instruction. He was looking for a seed. The Holy Ghost will over over that circumstance until there is a seed. If you release a seed of joy, it will create light. So rather than adjust to the darkness, what did God do? God said, let there be. Where did the light come from? It was always on the inside of God. When you give your shout of joy, you release what is on your inside. Listen to me, the miracles are on your inside. The babies are on your inside. The churches are on your inside. The missionary communities are on your inside. But a shout, hey, we release them into manifestation. When you read, rejoice. Rejoice. The Bible says that with joy, we draw from the wells of salvation. From the wells of salvation. 